Welcome back guys, this is King of Weebs here and uh, this is What If Naruto Isolated Himself Part 2 and I will keep doing this What If until I finish it because I love making it. I really like uh, <clears throat> the plot, I've made up for it and yeah, so now, last time we left off with Naruto training with Team 7 for the last two weeks of the training and now Naruto is <clears throat> uh, learning the Chidori. Of course Naruto only trains with them for like one or two hours but is what it is. Anywho, now Naruto... <clears throat> who has actually made real good progress in learning the Shidori. He is actually going home until he gets a surprise visitor at his house. It was the, actually the third Hokage. Naruto's like, oh, hey Lord Third. Well, what's up? And basically, the third Hokage is like, Naruto, may I talk to Minato one more time? And basically, Naruto summoned Minato and um, rolls Minato. And Minato talked to the third Hokage. And the third's like, can I ask you how your son's training has been going? And Naruto said, you could have just asked me. And basically, Minato then said to, <clears throat> told the third Hokage that Naruto, in his opinion, he could actually put up a real good fight against he, the third Hokage himself. Or maybe even if he gets lucky enough using him and he, of course, all his other shadows, his other summonings, he may, be even, he may even be able to beat him. With no, <clears throat> without doubt, but of course, Naruto doesn't want to use them because he needs to get strong on his own. That's what Naruto said. He really doesn't want to use them unless it's for, uh, let's say, helping him in training. That's pretty much it. And the Hokage is all, oh, thank you for the information. And Naruto, how have you been since you pretty much uh, <clears throat> isolated yourself for the past four, six years or whatever? It was only, it's actually been eight years. <laughs> Naruto isolated himself at the age of four. Damn. Anywho, now, Naruto said, it's not the best, but at the same time, it's not too bad since I don't have to see the damn villagers that hate me. But I've made a few friends. I'll s I could say my team are my friends now, too, but I guess can't really tell. Sakura always follows Sasuke, and Sasuke never really talks to me. But I guess Kakashi Sensei is fine. And of course, the Hokage says, all right. I better go now. I don't want the on to get suspicious of or, or <coughs> get worried about me and they come search for me and find this place. Anywho, I'll see you. Now the Hokage was going and Naruto realized that he ran out of food. So he went off to the uh, <coughs> to the uh, village and was doing his groceries until he bumped into this girl. This girl was called Yumi. You all know who she is. Anywho, Yumi said, oh hey Naruto, and Naruto's like, oh hello Yumi, and basically Yumi's like, can I ask you a question, and Naruto's like, yeah sure, and then she's like, why do you only hang out with us on Saturdays, and Naruto's like, all the other days I have to train or do missions, and yeah, sorry, I wish I could but uh, hang out more days, but I really have to train, and basically, Yumi's like, oh that's too bad, I really wanted to start training with you too, but on Saturdays we just have fun, right? And basically, Naruto said, if you want to train, you can join me in training today and every day if you want. After all, it's kind of boring only with me and my normal training partners and Yumi's are training partners. And basically, Naruto said, like, come with me. Don't get scared, though. And basically, Yumi's are alright. And Naruto is okay with telling Yumi because he actually trusts Yumi. And to be honest, he actually romantically has a little crush on Yumi, but of course, he's not going to tell her. But his way is, now, Naruto takes Yumi with him. To the forest of death, Yumi's, Yumi's like, wait, what? Yumi was confused though on why Naruto took her to the forest of death and Naruto's like, oh, my home's here. And basically, Yumi's like, wait, what? But this is a forbidden place and Naruto's like, don't worry. People, <laughs> well, the creatures here pretty much respect me. I guess I'm like a bit of a lord to them. And basically, Yumi's like, huh? And then Naruto takes her in and all the creatures that they actually come up uh, against, well, not against, they see Yumi and they're like, ah, oh, pray. Yes, food. After that tyrant, not, not tyrant, after that guy came in. Hey, I can't hunt. Oh, shit. Food. And basically, they see Naruto. Naruto looks at them and basically, they're like, ah, yeah. So, hey, yo, what's up, G? I'm gold. Yeah. Anywho, now, <clears throat> Naruto and Yumi walk through the forest until they come to a 
uh, cave. Nart takes her in, and then she's like, "Oh, this cave is pretty big. Is this where you live?" And basically, Nart is like, "Yeah, let's go in a bit deeper." And basically, now Nart is like, "All right, this is my training grounds, and there's my room. That's my kitchen. Yeah, whatever." Now, let me summon my teachers, and basically, it's, it's Yumi's like, "What?" And basically, Nart says, "Rise." And basically, Fugaku and uh, <clears throat> Me and I actually rise and Nar and Fugaku is like Hello young Nar young master and basically Naruto is like, I told you call me Naruto since they basically not and then he's like oh yeah Naruto how you doing my guy and basically then me is like what's up son and basically uh Yumi's like hey he looks familiar and Naruto's like yeah the full Fukage and basically she's like wait what and basically Naruto is like I'll explain later you wanna train with us and basically Yumi's like yeah sure and basically <clears throat> of course, Fugaku and Mina to look at each other is like, hey, that's not his girlfriend. He's making girlfriends. Friend, I mean, girlfriend, yes. Naruto's growing and basically Naruto glares at them, uh, realizing what they're talking about. Naruto's like, no. You know, he, he basically, <laughs> like, literally shakes his head, saying no. And he glares at them and they realize that Naruto can literally annihilate them because they're under his control. Anywho, now. Yumi, uh, well, Minato actually says, well, if you want us to train you, we should first have to see your strength. You'll spar against Naruto. It'll go easy, don't worry. And basically Naruto's like, yeah, I won't go too hard. And gets his kunai and says, I'll only be using this kunai. And Yumi's like, I'm stronger than what you think you are. And anywho, now the fight begins. And basically Naruto actually uh, <clears throat> throws his kunai at Yumi. But what Yumi does is that without even doing hand seals, she actually, remember Yumi's a prodigy. Yumi actually uses, uh, without using hand seals, her shadow actually catches the <coughs> kunai and Naruto's like, shadow possession jutsu, huh? Interesting, she didn't even have to use <coughs> a um, hand seal or anything. Even Minato was actually kind of surprised and he's like, this one's a prodigy. And basically Yumi turns on her, well, activates her Byakugan, which actually allows, well, tells, well, she can see where Naruto's chakra points are and basically blitzes Naruto and is still with the kunai on her shadow and basically she uses the shadow possession jutsu and she's about to do the 64 pump, not the 64 bombs, just hit his the chakra point, his main one but then Naruto teleports to the kunai and Yumi realizes that her shadow possession jutsu just was nullified there and Naruto basically then takes the kunai, spins around and kicks her in the face but then Yumi actually protect us herself with her shadow yes now uh, yumi can do that but then you may actually let her shadow out uh, with one hand seal and basically the shadow became pretty much a dragon i'm joking it didn't uh, <laughs> the shadow just blitzed naruto and actually stabbed naruto on the arm realizing that this shadow can actually absorb chakra and paralyze you for a certain amount of seconds and this was more than enough for yumi to come up to naruto and hit a few chakra points and naruto was actually running low on chakra already Realizing that he underestimated Yumi too much and says, maybe I don't have to hold back with you. And basically, as soon as he said that, a ton of dark energy came out of Naruto. And Naruto literally broke out the paralysis, paralysis easily and pushed back Yumi. And basically, then Naruto said, come at me, Yumi. This is my true strength. Of course, it's not. Naruto's only kidding. But true strength, he means that this is part a, a fraction, a small fraction of his true strength and Yumi actually attacks Naruto <coughs> sorry Yumi actually attacks Naruto from the back Naruto didn't, uh, Naruto didn't have to flinch he didn't flinch I mean Naruto didn't even flinch but as soon as Yumi was about to hit his neck to actually uh, pull him out of this fight Naruto t looked at Yumi and basically paralyzed her uh, well no, not like paralysis like literally Naruto's bloodlust was let out, his pressure, and Yumi actually fell to the ground, and she could barely stand, and Naruto's like, is this all, Yumi? And basically, Yumi's like, just, oh, his power, and basically, Naruto uh, looks down and says, well, this is my true strength, I guess, it's just a fraction of it, but, I guess I've been training for a few years, and yeah, anywho, I guess you lost, since, if you, this was a real fight, I'd pretty much kill you now. But then Yumi was let out of this blood-lasted state and she was literally locked to the floor. She's like, she couldn't move at all, she couldn't even flinch, she couldn't move a finger or anything. But then she stood up and asked Naruto what that was and Naruto says, it was some kind, it was like a binding using my blood-lust. And basically Yumi was confused at that, but then 
Now to explain is that, that it's just uh, the amount of pressure, blood loss he has. And basically Yumi's like, where did you get all this blood loss from? And Naruto's like, well, it's from my hatred. And basically she's like, wait, what? And basically Naruto tells her that you, uh, you know that I hate a few people, especially because they kind of abused me and blah, blah, blah. blah. And basically then Minato and Fugaka actually came up to Yumi and telling and told her that she's actually an amazing ninja and she will become a great Kunoichi. And Naruto's like, yeah, that's true. Using the shadow possession jutsu like that without with barely any hand seals, can Shikamaru do that? And Yumi is like, well, he's still uh, not a master of it, but he's actually getting close to being able to use it without hand seals. It's hard for him, but uh, he's going to be able to do it. He's a prodigy too. And basically, Naruto's like, oh, you had the Byakuhan too. Did you stand? If I was a bit slower there, you could have completely finished me. But I guess he is what he is. And basically, Fugaku's like. What chakra natures do you have? And Yumi says, fire, lightning, and wind. And uh, <coughs> Minato says, oh, those are the same as mine. And basically, Naruto's like, oh, mad. I have one more than you. I have water. And basically, Yumi's like, you have four at this age? And Naruto's like, you have three at this age? And basically, Yumi's like, true. Most Jonians have three. And I'm again. <laughs> and basically, all we'll laugh at, uh, at this. Anywho, now, art. For the next two weeks, Naruto has trained with Team 7, Yumi, and of course, with his two senses, his father and... For Gaku and basically Yumi has learned a lot. Her Taijutsu has actually gotten way better. It's actually near enough Joni level in just two weeks. And Naruto was thinking of actually bringing Chojin Shikamaru, but then Yumi's like maybe after after a bit since uh, basically Shikamaru and Chojin are still a bit weaker than her. And Shikamaru actually is starting to uh, fully master the Shadow Possession Jutsu to an extent that even Yumi, well, uh, to the extent that Yumi has gone to. But using it without even using any hand seals and uh, Shikamaru is all, I mean Choji is all, always been pretty strong but of course he needs to get stronger anywho now Naruto and Yumi have another sparring session and this time Yumi does a lot better and Naruto is not going to be like oh I'm only using one jutsu he's going all out and since Yumi is actually a lot stronger she's three to six times better <laughs> stronger and faster Naruto has to use a lot more chakra and uh, a lot more of his power of course, that's like three to six times more. Anywho, Yumi actually begins by actually, uh, making uh, <coughs> lightning clones because she can. And they all use Shadow Possession Jutsu. Naruto has, uh, has to actually jump up in the air. And basically, him using all of his bloodlust. Uh, even Yumi, who... Uh, you, I mean, Yumi, who has actually gotten used to this. She can actually use, move, but it's a, a strain on her body because her body cannot handle it, but... Her wheel can, and she's actually moving, and of course, at the same speed as before, and Naruto realizes that he has to fight properly. Naruto turns around, tries to kick her in the face, but then turns into a <coughs> light, turns into a light, blah, blah, turns into lightning, and of course, Naruto realizes that he's messed up, and he's about to get shocked, but then, Naruto actually uses substitution jutsu, which Yumi still hasn't seen to this day, and basically, Naruto turns into shadow, and basically, Naruto says, you've lost, Yumi, and basically, He's already behind Yumi, and Yumi, uh, he has already, he's already got a kunai to Yumi's neck. But then Yumi says, "No, I haven't." And basically, Yumi lets out a ton of lightning from her body, and Naruto realizes that this is dangerous, and he has to back up. But then Yumi actually blitzes Naruto, and she's using a cloak like the <clears throat> Rakage's one. But then Naruto says, "Interesting." But then he teleports behind her. Uh, Naruto actually left the kunai right before he jumped back. And teleports behind her, Yumi looks behind her, uh, well, Yumi looks behind and then she sees Naruto with the Rasengan and Naruto shoves it into Yumi, nope, 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 I, I take that back, Naruto <laughs> annihilates Yumi with the Rasengan, sounds better than before, <laughs> and Yumi goes flying. Of course, this was without uh, Minato and Fugaku, now Yumi and uh, Naruto always spar on their own without those two there. And Yumi's like, oh, I wish I had the Rasengan too, and the Flying Rajin. And Naruto's like, I'll teach you the Rasengan. The Flying Rajin needs a bit more time. And I don't believe you're, uh, well, patient enough for it since I, it took me a few years, like a year or two to learn it. And Yumi's like, wow, mad. But isn't it better if I learn it now? And Naruto's like, uh, learn the easier one first, because you might as well just have the Rasengan uh, before the Flying Rajin, since if you can have that. It's already an A-rank technique since the flying rajin is way harder to use. And in a fight, if you don't, if you haven't mastered the flying rajin, you might as well have the Rasengan since you can just shove in them. Anywho, now 
Of course, Naruto still gets tired of the D rank missions and asks for a higher rank one, and uh, he's given one. And of course, Naruto takes it. Well, Team Seven takes it, and Tarzan actually gets introduced. And this time, Tarzan ha- didn't really see anything to any of them because Naruto looked pretty scary, and the other two looked pretty strong too, especially because of their training. And he accepted it, and he's like, "Alright, cool." Anywho, now the next one uh, on the same day. Uh, Naruto and Yumi actually will train, but they decide to take two more people with them. Of course, it's Shikamaru and Choji. And Shikamaru and Choji find out about Naruto's true power and how strong Naruto is compared to them. And that uh, there are levels, there are leagues, there are worlds beyond, between their strength and Naruto's strength. And Yumi is already near enough Naruto's strength when he was 10. So no, Yumi would take another two years of intense everyday training to reach Naruto's level uh, that he is right now. But of course, if Naruto showed his true strength, he showed his real army of 100 A rank Anbus and the four S rank Shinobi, and two of them are Kage level, and one of them has half the Nine Tails. Yeah, it's done out here. Anywho, now Naruto's pretty much a mother for them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Anywho. Now, Naruto trains with them, but then says that this training session will end earlier because he has to sleep early tomorrow at 8 a.m. He has to go to his C-rank, first ever C-rank mission, and of course, they accept it. And now, Naruto, the next morning, he meets up with his team, and of course, they they leave. Naruto actually, uh, everyone pretty much, except for Tazuna, notice the puddle, and basically, as soon as the Demon Brothers appear, they get annihilated. Naruto actually uses his true, well, he shows a bit of his strength, and from the ground, two shadow, <clears throat> two shadow spears appear, and they stab the demon brothers in the arm and the sho- in the shoulders. And of course, he, Naruto doesn't want to kill them because he knows he's smarter than this. He wouldn't kill them straight away. He needs to find out information. And basically, Naruto says, "If uh, Naruto walks in front of Kakashi and says, either you want to die, I, I mean, either you die or give us information." And basically, they tell Naruto the information. That who's who they're after, who sent them, and basically Naruto uh, cool and basically uh, uh, impales them in the stomach, which kills them. But then Naruto uh, touches both, well, uses both his hands and says, uh, "Rise!" And basically they both rise, and Naruto says, "Go rest." And basically now everyone's pretty confused. But then Naruto asks, tells, uh, tells, well, Kakashi takes initiative and uh, before asking Naruto about he, what he just did there. He asked Tazuna what was going on. Basically, Tazuna explains everything. And Kakashi says, we're going back to the village. And Naruto's like, what? What do you mean? I single-handedly took out two tuning level ninjas. Near enough Jonin. And you, Sasuke and Sakura are just as strong as me. Why? And basically, Kakashi... And then Naruto goes on to say, Kakashi's stronger than him. And just saying, Naruto's eyes are... Uh, without his shadows, he's actually... Uh, on the level of Kakashi's strength, but with the shadows, he's actually on the level of the Hokage strength. Yes, Kakashi would give a good fight against the Hokage because he's just a bit weaker than the. He's actually on the strength of Tsunade, on the level of Tsunade's strength. Not like actual strength, but skills. Either he would win against Tsunade or draw against her, especially because of his hats. But of course, he's a bit weaker than Orochimaru and Jiraiya, so he wouldn't win against Hokage even at, the, at his age. Um, I mean, War Arc, uh, like, beginning of War war Arc, Kakashi, he would definitely be the Hokage. Uh, well, not Prime Hirizen, just the Hirizen against uh, <clears throat> Orochimaru. But, is what is, let's not get into that. Let's not get into power scaling now. Anywho, now, of course, Kakashi gets convinced by Team, team 7. And even Sakura is actually pretty strong. So Sakura is way stronger than Ino here. And, uh, yeah, she's actually on the level of Naruto. In the <clears throat> land of wa- end of land of waves arc, not uh, not of course rage Naruto with the uh, <clears throat> rage boost from Chroma. That's a whole different story. Anywho, now while they were walking, Naruto actually got a little bad feeling, a little hunch that something bad's gonna happen. So he actually puts uh, a shadow. Well, the you know the Anbu shadows on Sasuke, Sakura, and Kakashi and Tazuna and. He's like, just in case, just in case, just in case. But, like, hopefully nothing happens, but I hope. Like, if something does happen, is what is. He has his shadows, and Naruto has already got shadow exchange, but it's still uh, 
he actually maxed out with it. Well, since Naruto has a lot of chakra, he, he has no cooldown. And anywho, now Naruto and the Team Seven keep walking, and uh, they realize that they're actually <clears throat> in a uh, well. Now they are actually <clears throat> surrounded by fog, and they can't see anything. Sasuke turns on his uh, well, uses his Sharingan, and basically tells everyone to duck down. And they all do duck down, and Naruto's there. What the hell? And basically. Um, then uh, Naruto says, "All right, then wind style, wind propulsion, and basically he propels, propels the fog around them away, and they realize that Zabuza, yeah, <clears throat> Zabuza is actually there." And Kakashi says, "Everyone, stand back!" And basically, uh, Kakashi will take him on, and the fight here is pretty much the the same until Kakashi actually slips. This is where everything changes. Kakashi slips, and as soon as Zabuza is about to. Uh, imprison him in the water prison. The shadow actually appears and Naruto's like, yes. And uh, Sasuke heard that. Sakura really uh, actually heard that too. And Tazuna really didn't because uh, um, he was more focused on the fight. Anywho, now, <clears throat> uh, basically, the shadow actually blocked, uh, well, actually caught on to <clears throat> Zabuza's hand and it's like, uh, and basically, since the shadow can't talk, uh, Naruto's like, now Kakashi sends to do it, and basically Kakashi, uh, the shadow actually moved out of the way, Kakashi actually uppercutted uh, Zabuza, Zabuza went flying, but then got up in his, on his feet, and uh, he started fighting again, but of course he was losing this fight, and ba basically, the shadow actually went back to uh, Kakashi, and uh, they're like, wait, what? And basically, Naruto actually says, Alright, it's my turn, and basically Naruto actually used a body flicker to actually blitz Zabuza, and Zabuza was uh, caught off guard, and he lost his balance, and basically Kakashi took this to his, to his advantage, <clears throat> uh, took, took, to, took this to his advantage, and he actually used the Chidori. To actually annihilate uh, Zabuza, but of course, right before he hit, Zabuza got, gets annihilated by Haku, of course, and then uh, Haku, oh well, he, Haku appears and basically Kakashi checks if uh, Zabuza is actually uh, dead and realizes that he is, but of course, uh, Haku only hit a few points, uh, well, a few places where he actually looks like, where he actually looks like he's dead, but of course, he's not. And uh, <clears throat> Haku takes him back, but Kakashi is too, uh, too tired for this and he actually collapses, but then Naruto actually helps him up, and uh, uh, basically Tazuna comes in and helps them, and uh, helps him, and he takes him to his home. Of course, then Kakashi explains to Team Seven that they have to train, and this is not over. And uh, Team Seven already knows uh, <clears throat> tree walking, but now they will train in, in water walking. Naruto and Team Seven actually learned that. Even Naruto didn't know that because he lives in a cave. He doesn't have, have water around him. Anywho, now. Of course, Naruto will need something to train in uh, during this time to meet Haku. But of course, Naruto is pretty much a master of everything except the thing, except for the next stage of the Rasengan. Naruto still doesn't have the Rasen Shuriken, and he still wants to create a new Rasengan and complete the Jutsu. So he begins his, tra his training in mastering the, the like completing the Rasengan because the Rasengan is known to be an incomplete Jutsu. I'm searching for some cream right now. Anywho, oh, I found it. Anywho. The Rasengan is known to be an incomplete jutsu, <laughs> and uh, uh, Naruto goes off and says that he will be training a bit on his own. And basically, Team Seven really didn't get a chance to ask him. But of course, as soon as they come back, they all decided to actually interrogate him. But of course, Naruto doesn't come back. Uh, doesn't come back till late, and it's on this day that Naruto actually meets Haku. Don't ask me why. You know, I'm just gonna make it earlier. Anywho, now Naruto has been training for the whole, uh, pretty much, the whole day, and it's. Uh, like eight o'clock now, and Naruto started his training at, around like let's say f three p.m. And yeah, so Naruto's been training for five hours, and he's actually got close to actually getting the wind rusting on. But of course, he wasn't working. He always exploded in his hand, and his hand was bleeding. And basically, Haku actually came out uh, out of nowhere. Naruto noticed him, and basically, Haku's like, "Oh, who might you be?" And basically, Naruto's like, "Oh." My name is Naruto Zumaki, and basically they actually socialized, and Haku actually bandaged up Naruto because uh, uh, basically uh, Naruto was bleeding from his hands, and Naruto really didn't care, he wasn't healing himself at all, and basically uh, Haku bandaged him up, uh, saying that uh, thing, if he bleeds too much, he will lose consciousness and then bleed out to death, and basically Naruto's like, oh yeah, sorry, and basically Haku's like, it's fine, and basically they socialize, and Haku still tells him about if they if he has precious ones, um, he'll become stronger, and Naruto says, I don't really have anyone precious except for 
my friends uh, i really want to protect them and that's the only reason not to actually put the shadows are uh, in his uh on well uh shadows in the, his team's shadows and just saying uh Nata will do that for his friends too when he returns realizing that it's actually really useful anywho now Naruto, who has been uh, talking to Haku, realizes that it's getting pretty late, it's getting dark, and he has to go back. And Haku says, All right, goodbye, and basically, they never meet again until the next week, of course. Naruto, when he went back, uh, he actually got interrogated, and Naruto said, All right, I'll show you my true strength, and basically, that I would do mean. And Naruto has been hiding this for, uh, from pretty much everyone, and basically, he tells them that. He was actually uh, the, a necromancer, but then uh, he tells them his full story from the beginning, and they re and then now Na they all understand that Naruto is the Shadow Monarch, and they're like, wait, so a necromancer, uh, a necromancer becomes a Shadow Monarch when they they're strong enough, they're skilled enough, and Naruto's like, yeah. Exactly what happened to me. I was a necromancer until I became a shadow monarch. I was born a necromancer and I accidentally uh, turned my dead parents into undead. And Kakashi knows who his parents are. And he's like, wait, what? And basically, Naruto's like, well, I'm not going to show you guys uh, because um, that's kind of private. I don't want you guys to know who, who my parents are. And Naruto only, is only saying that because the Hokage has told him that this is an s rank secret. And no one except for a few Jonins that Kakashi know. And Naruto knows that and basically... Now, well, once basically Team 7 is going to sleep, Kakashi actually goes to Naruto, who's actually awake and he was about to go to sleep, but then asks, asks him, well, takes him outside and says, So, wait, you know who your parents are? And Naruto's like, Yeah, I know you know who they are, and I know that he was your sense, uh, my father was your sensei. Do you want to meet him again? And basically, Kakashi's like, No, it's fine, he must, he must be asleep or something. And basically, Naruto that like, No, it's fine. Now, whenever I call upon him, he's always uh, at full strength. They basically rest during uh, when they're not <coughs> out. And basically, Naruto basically summons Kakashi. I mean, <laughs> what? And Naruto basically says rise. And basically, Minato actually rises up. And uh, Naruto hasn't told that told uh, Sasuke that he actually has Fugaku as an undead. Because he doesn't want um, Sasuke to find out that his father, uh, he turned his father into an undead uh, soldier. An undead... <laughs> Well, anywho, part of his undead army. Remember, the uh, the undead army follows the necromancer. And anywho, uh, or a shadow monarch, of course. But now, uh, basically, Kakashi actually reunites with his sensei and basically says, "Sorry, I couldn't help you during uh, twelve years ago." And uh, basically, uh, basically, uh, Minato says it's fine. Uh, it's good that you won in the fight against the Nine Tails. Look, now you're teaching my son. In the chid, uh, and he has told me that you're teaching him the chidori, and I hope he learns it since my son, it has amazing chakra control. Damn fly! I'll kill you, fam. God damn it! Flies, man. So annoying. One just landed on my head. I can, f I can hear the. Bzzz. So annoying. Anywho, <laughs> um, now, basically, Naruto then uh, says, "Well, I think we gotta go sleep." And basically, the next few days, uh, they were all resting, and then now they have to go. Kakashi realized uh, well Kakashi now knows that Naruto has a lot of power and he can um, he did ask Naruto if he, the shadows can fight with their full strength and basically Naruto explains the ranking of the shadows and basically says that the only reason uh, Minato could talk is because he's he's actually um, a really strong shadow and basically the stronger a shadow is the higher rank he is and if your if your rank is general you can uh, you have the ability to actually talk and basically he says that his mother has general rank, his father has general rank, uh, and basically he does tell him, and doesn't tell him about Fugaku or anything. Anywho, now Naruto and Team 7 actually go off uh, to the bridge again, and they still get intercepted by uh, Haku and Zabuza, and Naruto actually left two shadows, uh, he actually left two Anbu shadows on, the, on the Inari and his mother, so those two would uh, take care of the two bandits and basically kill them themselves, and now... Naruto uh, actually gets relayed this information because Naruto can get uh, well gets relayed on the info from his shadows uh, for even long range. Anywho, now the <coughs> Naruto is relieved and uh, yeah, he can fight at his full uh, uh, potential and uh, he doesn't have to worry about Inari and his mother. Of course, uh, <coughs> Haku still appears and traps both Naruto and Sasuke in the. Ice mirrors and Naruto realizes that it's gonna be hard, but then 
uh, to get out but then Naruto actually gets an idea, an idea but before that happens uh, Haku still uh, knows that Naruto could be dangerous since uh, Naruto was training so hard that his hands were bleeding a technique that he trained so hard to, to well this is Naruto has told the Haku that he's been train, uh, tra training to improve to complete this technique it's already an A-rank Jutsu and basically he's trying to uh, completed to make it an s rank jutsu since it was an incomplete incomplete jutsu incomplete what the hell is that incomplete jutsu and that's why his hands were bleeding and he uh, haku realizes that if an a rank jutsu uh, who uh, which is pretty op already as uh, from the description naruto gave him is trying to complete it which would make an s rank jutsu yeah that uh, he would not like to deal with that so he actually wants to pull out naruto out of the fight of course he doesn't want to kill him but still wants to faint him so he can just uh, uh Focus on Sasuke and then basically helps Zabuza. But of course Sasuke still comes in the way. And Naruto says why Sasuke. And of course the shadow couldn't come out. Because no, Sasuke wasn't fully targeted. And the shadow wasn't fast enough. Then Naruto realized that. His shadows, it was not even because of his shadows that Sasuke wasn't protected, it's because of him. He was too careless and he didn't realize that Haku was about to attack him. And basically he let out his rage and he actually was um, a lot of, uh, well, not the shadows that he possesses basically the shadow power he possesses uh starts leaking out and basically starts cracking the mirrors on their own but then Naruto actually goes into his uh, little tails beast form his uh, chakra starts boiling up no tails just the cloak and basically destroys all the ice mirrors with one little uh, battle cry one battle cry not little one battle cry and basically Naruto blitzes Haku destroys his mask has his palm over well not palm yeah palm uh, claw over uh, Haku's face and looks at Haku and then realizes who he is and basically his cloak and his shadow actually returns to him uh, uh, well returns inside and basically Naruto's at Haku why and Haku is actually injured to a point where his bones are broken his ribs are broken ribs and uh, he cannot uh, uh, well stand up until uh, basically Haku was going to gonna die uh, well slowly and Naruto has no way of stopping it and basically Haku says my last wish is that you protect Zabuza please and basically Naruto uh, by the time Haku said that Zabuza actually got stabbed and uh, basically uh, then uh, Haku uh, died and said it's fine and basically Naruto says no no Haku and basically Haku is actually a general rank too just saying and just saying uh, even though it's it's all mostly because of his Kekegenkai and Zabuza was already strong enough uh, yeah don't ask me why um, plot armor anywho Naruto realizes that he himself killed his friend and said I'll give you life even though you'll you'll be an undead it's the closest thing I can give you it's the closest thing to life I can give you, of course. And basically revives Haku and Haku talks and basically he's like, how did this happen? And basically Naruto's like, I'll help you reunite with Zabuza. And basically Naruto revives ha Zabuza as well in front of everyone. And everyone's flabbergasted, gobsmacked. And Kakashi understands, uh, oh, uh, but he doesn't understand why them two. Maybe because they're good ninjas. But then Naruto says, you can be together for even in as on in your undead forms i'm sorry we took your lives away and basically as soon as naruto said that Garth actually appeared and basically they're like oh so they are dead and what's going on here why are the two black figures and basically they looked a bit like zabuza and haku but he couldn't really tell but he's like i wasn't gonna pay them anyway you just made my life easier naruto uh still promised uh, um inari to basically well here he promised inari to avenge his father and naruto said I already had made a promise that I'll kill you to Inari, but since Zabuza and Haku are here, they'll be helping me. And basically, Kakashi is already tired because of the usage of Chakra and the Sharingan. But Haku and the Zabuza are pretty much full powered, and Naruto's with them. And basically, Naruto and Zabuza and Haku, uh, a trio of uh, <coughs> hell, uh, they cause havoc and they kill Gato and his men. And basically, they get uh, Naruto. Uh, well. Zab and Haku get their revenges and of course Naruto then has to explain to uh, Sasuke and Sakura what what he just did and Naruto says one of my powers is to actually uh, I already told you the undead army follows me but I can actually make people undead once they are, they are dead but of course it depends on them and I only have three tries if I fail all three times that means uh, it w w I cannot do it I cannot uh, revive them and uh, there are certain conditions the uh, undead has to uh, check off well 
the, there are certain conditions that undead has to be under basically for example a condition is that they have to be uh, human they cannot be monsters no wait not monsters not that he they basically they they <laughs> i don't know how to explain this whatever there are, there are no conditions for naruto anywho leave me alone Naruto still does his daily challenges, just saying, Naruto has a ton of keys that he can open gates with and he will uh, do it eventually and he will finish them easily because Naruto is Naruto. There are big power gaps, there are big, big, big power creeps, not even caps, gaps, man said caps, Gr creeps, I was about to say creeps, what the hell, what, what am I doing, what's this English, anywho, now, Basically, they understood and they're like, that's a pretty overpowered technique. And Sasuke kind of gets jealous because Naruto is pretty much OP and he could have as many ninjas as possible. He could literally revive, like, I don't know, the first Tokage or something and make him use his wood style. But of course, he wouldn't do that. I mean, he doesn't even know what the first Tokage's body is. And anyways, of course, Naruto and Team 7 stay another week to help Tarsina build the bridge and they leave now. Of course, when they once they return... Kakashi and Naruto, uh, well, Kakashi continues Naruto's training, same as uh, Team 7's, and Team 7's are learning quite a bit, Sasuke even started learning the Chidori, of course Naruto has already mastered it, and uh, he kept up with his training with his friends, and he hung out, and they, ha they all created a, well, deeper bond, and Naruto fought as Team 7 and his friends as family now, and well, of course Team 7 as his new family, and his parents are happy about it, and basically, uh, now, and Kakashi still tells them about the tuning exams and this time it's actually a bit earlier like a week uh, a week earlier uh, so they have two weeks of training and they actually decide to train on their own because they want to come back stronger and they don't want to I know team training is all good and that but of course they still have to study in they have to study and they have to train individually especially because team uh, when they do team training they always try to improve teamwork but here they have to improve individual skills as well because they will have to fight individually and maybe they will even have to come up, up come up ah, come up against one each other one 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 another no what's my english today it's all broken my teacher would kill me anywho now Naruto uh, goes off on his own and uh, actually starts studying for the next few weeks because Naruto is more than strong enough to actually finish the training exams but he's not as smart like I mean book smart and of course uh, Fugaku, uh, <laughs> Mikoto and uh, Minato take care of that Kushina is left out there because Kushina is not good at studies I mean um, uh, that's who Naruto took care of I'm not trying to disrespect her but she kind of dumb anywho <laughs> now Naruto uh, is ready for the tuning exams everyone's pretty much ready and they go off and of course Naruto realizes that this is a genjutsu and said uh, uh, releases it and then Rock Lee actually still challenges Sasuke and Sasuke was about to accept but then Naruto actually held on his uh, on his uh, shoulder basically just tapped him on his shoulder and said no Sasuke you, do you really want to show your <clears throat> your skills before the tuning exams actually begin do you want everyone to find out your weaknesses and your strengths do you now Sasuke and then Sasuke realizes that Naruto's right and then basically declines saying that the tuning ex exams are about to start they'll fight in there he's pretty sure they'll meet, uh, meet again anywho now Naruto well everyone goes to their rooms and Naruto passes the exam with flying colors actually beats Mina to school and well uh, his Minato's time and becomes the new record holder and everyone uh, in the original passes Sasuke kind of struggles Sas Sakura doesn't but still Naruto came first in the whole entire tuning exams ever in the whole history of the tuning exams but now the forest of death uh, <clears throat> the forest of death be begins and of course uh, Naruto still has to go to do his business but of course uh, he still has the shadows there um, uh, in uh, Sakura and Sasuke's shadows uh, and uh, of course <laughs> I'm saying of course too many times. Anywho, I, I don't think I said anywho too much in this one. Anywho, uh, Naruto went and done his business until he got an alert. For, well, he actually got alerted by his shadows that someone's attacking his team. And he's pretty strong. And he already beat Sasuke and Naruto. Like, Wait, what? And basically, um, one of the shadows that the shadow that was actually in uh, Sasuke's shadow actually disappeared. And went back to Sasuke's shadow because Sasuke is unconscious. Yes, that happens. And anywho, now... Naruto actually exchanged uh, with the other shadow and the other shadow actually uh, well went back to the other uh, well you know the thing and basically Naruto told Sakura to take Sasuke and go um, 
go and uh, basically stay safe and basically not to put another shadow in the same shadow in Sakura's uh, shadow but then Sakura didn't notice because she was actually holding Sasuke on her back and she went off now uh, Naruto said who are you asked uh, Orochimaru who he is and basically Orochimaru is like I've done my job I shall be going now and basically Naruto is like no you don't I shall take your scroll and kill you here and basically Naruto's ready and he's laying out all his bloodlust, but Orochimaru is not affected by it and uh, lets out his own, which actually overpowers Naruto's. Yes, Naruto's bloodlust actually overpowers. I mean, uh, Orochimaru's bloodlust actually overpowers Naruto's bloodlust, and he, Naruto realizes that this is going to be a hard fight. If someone's bloodlust is even higher than his, is even stronger than his, there is something wrong. That means this man or this woman must be someone that went through a lot of pain and hates pretty much everything. Anywho, now. Naruto actually uh, basically uh, begins his fight against Orochimaru and Orochimaru is actually keeping up, well Naruto is actually keeping up with Orochimaru because Orochimaru is pretty strong, he has all five chakra natures and he's using everything in his, ass in his arsenal and remember uh, Orochimaru is not in his uh, real body so this body cannot handle too much and that's the only reason Naruto is actually uh, able to keep up with Orochimaru and remember I said that Naruto can, uh, with the shadows he can uh, actually be he risen at an old age, not at prime. He risen prime. He risen would annihilate Naruto easily, and uh, Minato uh, would actually prime. He is actually way stronger than uh, Minato. I'm pretty sure of that. Anywho, uh, I'm not Casey. I'm uh, Minato. Uh, do not start a war against me, you Minato tards. I'm an Naruto tard. Anywho, but Casey and Minato is a whole different story. Like, I'm just saying base Minato. Anywho, and base Naruto. Because ba uh, like KCM Naruto would annihilate the third Hokage. Prime or not, especially him being a Shadow Monarch. Bro, please. Don't at me, G. Anywho, now, Naruto uh, barely uh, kept up with Orochimaru. Even though, uh, well, not barely, he kept up with Orochimaru. He would have barely kept, kept up with Orochimaru in, his, or, in Orochimaru's real body. But anywho, Naruto then realizes that he has to go all out and uses the Flying Raijin. And uh, he, right before Orochimaru was about to attack him again, Naruto teleports behind him where he left a, a kunai and basically Naruto kicks him in the face from the back, well, uh, back heels uh, Orochimaru in the side of the face. Orochimaru goes flying but then Naruto actually threw a kunai at the same time as Naruto, uh, Orochimaru went flying and he actually teleported to it and basically Naruto said, no, fire style, great fireball and basically great fireball jutsu. Um, uh, a massive fireball engulfed uh, Orochimaru but Orochimaru was able to actually uh, substitute himself and uh, he was on top of Naruto well on the, uh, on the branch on top of Naruto because uh, Naruto wasn't on the highest branch but his way is and Naruto looks up and realizes that Orochimaru was actually about to kick him in the face but then what he did is that he teleported backwards uh, to, uh, to the original spot and Naruto uh, having uh, that who actually trained who actually uh, pretty much mastered the Wind Rasengan and uh, uh, basically what he does is that he shoves it in uh, Orochimaru and Orochimaru there was a massive explosion and Orochimaru went flying and decided to actually retreat because Naruto was taking too much time out of his schedule and he had to go even though he could kill Naruto right now uh, because Naruto is actually tired and the Orochimaru has actually uh, hit Naruto in a few chakra points without uh, not without notice uh, well with, not really uh, well I, not accidentally, he uh, he knew that some chakra points are in that place in everybody, so in every single one, uh, every single human body. Uh, so he hit those points. So Naruto was losing chakra, and some his uh, some of his vessels were actually uh, blocked. But Naruto actually went back to his team uh, without with no pre uh, with uh, he, without prevailing. Of course, he couldn't uh, uh, kill the guy or take his scroll, and all he did is injure himself. And he should have just escaped with his team instead of fighting him. Now. Someone knows Naruto's true potential. Not potential, like uh, some of his skills, but Naruto actually takes uh, the kunai, or he leaves the kunai. Remember, Naruto's home is here. Anywho, now Naruto returns to his uh, to his team. Well, uh, to find out that they were getting attacked by the sound trio, and basically then Naruto actually came to save Sakura. But at the same time, Sasuke woke up with the curse mark, and Naruto and uh, Sakura and Sasuke. Sakura was actually keeping up with one of them, but of course, three of them at once, Sakura would have no chance. But all three of them take one out, and then they and Sakura and uh, Naruto realize that they have to uh, stop Sasuke, and basically Naruto actually puts him out, of course, by Karate chopping his uh, the back of his head, his neck, the back of his neck, and Sasuke's out cold. Now, uh, Sakura's like, just what's going on and basically the sound trio the sound trio of course left their scroll and uh, uh, escaped and naruto so all right anywho uh now sorry guys 
Uh, now, basically, Naruto and Sakura head back to the... So, uh, Naruto's actually carrying Sasuke, even though Naruto's a, uh, a lot more injured than Sakura. Sakura said, I'll carry him, but Naruto's like, it's fine. And basically uh, told Sakura to carry the <clears throat> the two scrolls, and Sakura still figured out... Well, Naruto actually said, just open the scrolls, that's what it means. And basically, Sakura's like, alright, uh, I figured out too. And basically, Naruto's like, of course, you would pretty smart as well. And basically, Sakura's like, thank you. Anywho, now... Naruto and Sakura actually go in and they, uh, they see Kakashi and Kakashi says, oh congratulations, what happened to Sasuke and so Naruto says, you need to see all this, this thing actually, uh, <clears throat> well, uh, when Sasuke woke up, uh, uh, some, guy, some guy bit him and this was on Sasuke's neck, but then when he woke up, this mark actually expanded all around his body and uh, <clears throat> he took control and Sasuke had some kind of power boost, but at the same time he couldn't control his body or he couldn't control his man, he was attacking us until I had to pull him out. And basically Kakashi is alright and he still does the same on, on, on ordinary um, seal that he does in the original and Sasuke still is like what the hell and basically Sakura tells Sasuke that uh, Naruto pretty much saved them and anywho Sasuke doesn't really mind and Sasuke and Naruto have a pretty good friendship anywho now uh, of course the, uh, the preliminaries begin a few days later because all the teams had to return and the fights are really different here anywho anywho so um, of course uh the double knockout the fights will be pretty much the same uh well well <clears throat> uh except for the kiba fight because uh yumi is in team eight i believe i'll i believe i said team eight if not i'm sorry um wait was it team eight or team ten um uh <laughs> lol i not mention i not mention I am late, I've been taking so many breaks while doing this and uh, yeah, I'm kind of fucked because I, ha I don't have much time, I want to sleep tonight, I'm really tired, anywho, I need to make an hour video, I need to keep my promises, anyways, the fights will be pretty much uh, a lot different, especially because uh, uh, Kiba replaced, uh, <clears throat> uh, well, I mean, sh well, Yumi uh, replaced Kiba, and all the other teams are the same, except for uh, Yumi's team. Like, she knows her friend, but Hinata really doesn't hate Yumi. But of course, the uh, Yumi uh, uh, has the same background. Like, her mother was uh, exiled from the clan because she married Anara. Well, she had the kid with Anara, anywho. So, of course, Hayashi hates Yumi, but of course, Hinata is still her friend. Uh, anywho, now... Uh, Hinata here is actually a prodigy and she's on the same level as uh, <clears throat> Neji but of course not as Yumi but the first fight will be Naruto's and Yumi's this fight will be pretty impressive especially because Yumi doesn't know how strong Naruto is now and she thinks she can be beat him now especially because Yumi knows that Naruto really doesn't want to show too much to other people and uh, he never uses his shadows and uh, she's gonna take advantage of this and uh, basically before they start Yumi's that like, I'm gonna take advantage of all your weaknesses Naruto and all the things you try to hide so no hard feelings right and of course Naruto says no hard feelings and now they begin their fight and Yumi actually begins by going all out from the beginning right before Naruto could do anything but Naruto already knew that Yumi would try to exploit his weaknesses so Naruto knowing what to do uh, he actually uh, <clears throat> uses the wind propulsion, which uh, Yumi was, wasn't was aware of, and uh, she kind of goes flying, but then, of course, Yumi recovers real quick, and Naruto is already uh, in front of her by using body flicker, but then Yumi was able to actually kick him out of the way, but then, <laughs> again, Yumi knows his body flicker, just saying. So Yumi, using body flicker, they both use body flicker, and the ta tag jutsu fight began, and it was pretty hard, especially because Yumi could use her shadow to actually try to stab Naruto and paralyze him. So Naruto had a bit more uh, uh, to do, especially dodging, since he doesn't want to show the others, everyone, that uh, his true power. But of course, Naruto uh, will have to actually try hard in this fight, because Yumi will not hold anything back, and she will exploit his weaknesses and what he's trying to hide. Of course, Naruto... Uh, he's dodging quite a bit while trying to keep up with Yumi's Taijutsu because Yumi is actually pretty fast with Taijutsu. And Yumi gets a pretty good hit on Naruto. She needs his gut, which and he kind of sends Naruto into, uh, well, 
he loses his, bal his balance and he's backing up a bit. And now Yumi takes this uh, to, to her advantage, blitzes Naruto, punches him in the gut again, which creates more of an advantage for Yumi. And Yumi f f uh, actually stabs Naruto in the shoulder, which pretty much uh, would seem to be a win for Yumi. And everyone was really impressed by Yumi, except for uh, Team 7, they're pretty shocked that Naruto could lose to Yumi like this. And uh, Shikamaru and Choji were like, oh wait, what? Is Yumi actually going to win? But then Naruto smiles and says, Unfortunately, you've got the wrong one. And basically, Yumi is like, oh no. And basically, Naruto then turns into a shadow, a shadow, of course. And uh, basically, what happens next is that Naruto is already behind Yumi with a kunai to her neck. But then Yumi actually was able to uh, <coughs> counter him and take, oh, well, grab his arm and, uh, of course, flip him over. And uh, right before Naruto hit the ground, Naruto actually teleported behind Yumi, roundhouse kicked her to the face with his back heel, the back of his foot, and Yumi went flying, but then Naruto actually blitzed her, and while she was still uh, heading towards the wall, Naruto actually double kicked her in the stomach to actually uh, create a little crater on the battleground, and Yumi was fully out of this fight, Naruto actually used a, quite a bit of chakra in that double kick. And just saying by double kick, I mean like Naruto actually uh, kicked her with both his feet uh, at the same time. Literally like, you know when you're jumping and you're about to uh, <laughs> land on the ground? Yeah, let's say that and just that Naruto actually kicked her. Like when you, like you know when you're trying to do a kip up, you know what that is? If you guys don't know what a kip up is, you can uh, see it online. And imagine the feet, imagine how, what, uh, the feet motion you do, you, your leg motion, the same thing. And yeah. Yumi's out of the fight, of course Naruto helps her up and everything, but Naruto's declared the winner. Then, we have the Garo vs uh, <clears throat> Lee fight, and here, uh, Lee doesn't, uh, well, Lee still gets annihilated, but right before uh, Garo tried to kill him, not only did <coughs> a guy appear to save uh, Lee, but even Naruto actually uh, <coughs> appeared as well. From the ground though, he came out of the shadow. He's like, wait, what? And everyone was like, what the hell? Uh, it wasn't Naruto using the shadow exchange. Naruto literally used <laughs> a teleportation skill that Naruto could use on any shadow. Like, literally, not his shadow. Or he can be any shadow. He could be a bed shadow. He can be a shadow of bird. He can teleport there. Anywho, this is a technique Naruto learned during these two weeks. Uh, weeks. Anywho, Naruto helped Guy as well. But then they, they were all like, what the hell just happened? And they thought Naruto used body flicker, but... Of course, uh, Shikamaru, Choji, Yumi, and Team 7 knew what really happened. Naruto somehow teleported, and they were pretty perplexed by his ways. And then the double knockout never happens with Sakura, it happens with Neji uh, and Hinata. And so Naruto will be fighting Sakura, which is a pretty unfair fight. Sakura uh, doesn't, uh, well, not many people know Sakura's skill set, but since Sakura is much stronger than uh, Ino here, she's gone. And he. Uh, Shino wins, Sasuke wins, and uh, uh, of course, Temari and Kankuro. And that's pretty much it for the preliminaries. And of course, Shikamaru, Choji, unfortunately lost. Anywho, now, uh, the fan, well, of course, they get their one month training, and this is where everything changes. Naruto actually doesn't go back to his home this time. He actually goes off to a hill where he's going to start meditating to actually increase his, uh, well, his, uh, perception with the shadows and make it much more much uh, less visible basically so Naruto uh, starts training in his um, shadow visibility and of course he does his daily challenges and what he actually decides to do is that he's going to uh, challenge himself by actually finishing off a dungeon anywho Naruto decides to actually uh, open a gate and uh, his, uh, his challenge for himself is to finish it within a day. Of course, Naruto is strong enough to finish any, uh, <laughs> any in a day. And he actually decides to go to the demon um, tower. As uh, Sang Jin Ryu took a few weeks to do it. But Naruto really doesn't have a time limit. And he's able to annihilate the three-headed do dog on his own because... Uh, if you were uh, to put Sang Jin Wu with all his shadows up against this Naruto right now, with just him, 
Um, Song Jung Woo would have a hard time. This might bring some controversy, but I believe Song Jung Woo would uh, get annihilated. Annihilated. So Naruto actually is able to complete. I'll I'll say thirty. 30 levels in one day, but then not that. Ah, oh, let me take a break in it. It's been quite a bit. And he actually comes out, and it's nearly like 2 p.m. So he goes out to get some food. And uh, uh, just saying, he's gone to level 30 on his own. No help, nothing in that. And yeah. Um. So, sorry, guys. I just got a message from my boy. Anywho, now, Nart is done. And uh, he's going to get some food you know what i mean and yeah he bumps into jirai and jirai asks him if he wants to of course they still have that little same interaction and naruto actually knows who jirai is his parents told him about him and yeah naruto and jirai hit it off and they become a student and teacher naruto actually shows jirai on the first day that they actually trained that about his true power and he doesn't want to hold back anything because jirai is literally like his father irl right now because he's True father, his real father, of course, is undead, but still, someone who's still alive would uh, someone his family that technically his family who is still alive is Jiraiya, and Jiraiya is really pressed and proud of his godson, and he wants to train him to become the strongest shinobi in that ever existed, uh, to be the next stage of success, basically, because he believes now he truly believes that even though this power is a uh, kind of uh, demonic or something, you know what I mean. Uh, but still, it's the power that is has been given to the child of prophecy, and he believes that it's the power that will change this world and save it from the catastrophe catastrophes that are pending. Anywho, of course, Naruto keeps uh, training with Jiraiya for the next three weeks, and this time Naruto actually gets a full week off from Jiraiya because Jiraiya knows that Naruto is more than capable enough of becoming the uh, a tuning. And yeah, so Jiraiya actually leaves him to actually rest for the next week. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, Yumi and Naruto uh, actually hung out, hang out for the next four days, and Naruto takes the next three days to himself. He wants to take one day or just of sleeping, but that will be the last day, and two days of actually keep going on that dungeon raid that he's been on. And yeah, so <clears throat> now uh, Naruto is actually within these two days. Uh, just non-stop 48 hours of him just going in the dungeon and just fighting yeah so Naruto was able to actually complete the thing yes complete the thing and he was actually able to uh, well uh, make the raven into an undead anywho now Naruto takes his next day off but then sees Yumi when he actually went to get some groceries and Basically, Yumi's like, hey, Naruto, do you really want to live in the forest forever? Wouldn't you want to, like, buy a house? I'm sure you have enough money saved up. You don't really buy any furniture. You, all you have is a, a futon. And basically, Naruto's like, well, I've been thinking about it, but you see, this way it's about isolate, isolation, right? But Naruto has been isolating for eight years, so I don't know. Well, anywho, I'm going to leave that up to you guys, and I'm not sure. Anywho, um... Uh, I'm joking, I'm not gonna let you guys choose, it's my wife. Anywho, Naruto will come back, and he actually decides to buy a house. And since he has no furniture to move, he just moves in, takes his suit on, and buys a bed this time. Anywho, now that Naruto's fully back in the building, yeah, now Yumi uh, is actually his neighbour. Yes, the Naruto clan is actually uh, literally next to the house he bought. He bought a house to himself, not even like... An apartment, a house. He has that much money saved up. Yes, Nata has been saving up that much money. Because usually he would have to pay rent. And the Hokage still kept giving him money because he still needed food, right? And he kept saving up that up for the past eight years. And remember, rent is monthly. And the Hokage gave a monthly. So Nata just kept stacking and stacking and stacking. And all the missions he's done stacked. Yeah, so Nata has more than enough to buy a house. Anywho. Um, yeah, and the tuning exams are the next day. And that's where I'm going to end off. It's been an hour. No, 58 minutes, but still. Um, anywho, hope you all enjoyed it. I need to edit this, export it. Uh, I already have a thumbnail made, but I need to upload it, which takes an hour. And yeah, I need to sleep. I have school tomorrow. Anywho, hope you all enjoyed it. Please stay safe. Subscribe to Kazama. Subscribe to Retreat. And Miniman123.
3 and follow Shokun on Instagram, follow me on Instagram and Twitter and join my Discord server. All links are in the description down below and I hope you all enjoyed this one and yeah, peace my ducklings, you're dismissed and I hope you have an amazing day, amazing school year and the bun corona hopefully we get rid of this corona thing because i don't want another lockdown because it's winter corona died out a bit during the summer but all viruses die out and just saying i just want you all to say stay safe and i know a lot of us have lost loved ones relatives and a lot of our friends lost relatives and i just want to tell you guys to stay strong during this uh, virus and uh, please 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 stay safe i mean i'm not one to talk i don't really wear masks everywhere i really hate masks just because it irritates my skin but i just want you guys to always always stay safe sanitize yourselves and try your best to follow social distancing rules and yeah and if you see that you have a symptom or something i self-isolate for two weeks no problem it's fine you can watch me you can have me as your entertainer anywho hope you enjoyed it my ducklings you're dismissed and peace